Hey everyone, welcome back. I hope you're all having a great Memorial Day weekend. I think you're going to like today's clip. It's one of those rare occasions that CNN brings on an opposing point of view. And he actually slams the media for their just ignorance of basic gun knowledge. And as you can expect, the left-wing guest who's an editor over at Mother Jones can't take it. I always rely on you for coverage of gun issues. What does the rest of the media need to do differently? Or what should we do to be better when covering this, this beat, this issue? Yeah, certainly. I mean, I think the very base level, we need uh, better literacy of, about guns, about our gun laws, how they work, uh, about the gun politics, why people oppose these sorts of restrictions that you often hear called for in the media. I don't think that there is a, even a base level of knowledge that, that uh, we have in our industry. And, and I think a large part of that is not just uh, you know bias that people uh, talk about, although that is an issue, but mainly there's no beat. Nobody covers this in our industry uh, on a regular basis. When there are events that happen like this, what you get is reporters who are general assignment reporters who don't have knowledge on the subject, and that's where mistakes get made constantly. You're a smart motherfucker, that's right. Thank you. This absolutely needed to be said because the media acts as if they hate guns so much that they refuse to even learn basic facts, which is odd, right? Because they're constantly insisting that they're arbiters of the truth. In reality, they pathologically believe that by virtue of words coming out of their mouths, it's automatically the truth. But yes, the media refuse to learn even the most basic facts, which is why they're constantly misusing phrases like assault rifle and assault weapon and military style we're gonna get right into the left-wing mother jones editor's response but first let me tell you about this free coin offer from noble gold all right folks now it's time to set goals for the next cycle of inflation this way you're always moving forward and growing making money not losing it just imagine having more freedom and having more fun start a gold ira with noble gold right now and fight inflation with gold you shield your gains from taxes you keep the real value of your wealth you own a global asset, something tangible. What's not to like? And this month for every IRA above 20K, you'll get an incredible three ounce silver American virtue coin, completely free as a thank you. You can't go wrong with Noble Gold. Call 877-646-5347 right now to find out more or visit noblegoldinvestments.com. You can also use the link in the description or pinned comment. If I wonder can interrupt what, oh, for ahead, a second. Yeah, please. Well, I would just like to say that we at Mother Jones have been covering this for more than a decade, intensively. We have a, a vast uh, repertoire of knowledge on this subject. <laughs> Frankly, most Americans have had to get up to speed with at least some of the broad outlines of gun laws and gun restrictions and views on guns. But a central view on guns is that most people do not own a gun. Most people overwhelmingly want universal background checks, want red flag laws, want to raise the age at a minimum for purchase of an assault weapon, and a majority of people want to ban assault weapons. You can't even define assault weapons, and that is precisely what Gutowski is referring to. Just look at this Mother Jones article from yesterday with the headline, at the NRA convention, people blame mass shootings on everything but guns. And take mental note of that facts matter claim. Yeah, okay, whatever. You all blame mass shootings on everyone and everything, but the people who commit the act. Why not blame the shooter or the complete failure Failure of laws and law enforcement. Oh, right, stupid me. No political benefit to Democrats there. Back to the article. If you manage to get through it, you come to this line near the end. Quote, rather than spark a national reckoning on the recent explosion in gun sales, including the assault rifles preferred by mass shooters. <laughs> It's an urban legend that never happened. Did you catch that? He claims that assault rifles are preferred by mass shooters. Really? What is an assault rifle? An assault rifle is any of various intermediate range, magazine fed military rifles that can be set for automatic or semi-automatic fire. AR-15s do not have the option for automatic fire. A huge distinction. We have a, a vast uh, repertoire of knowledge on this subject. Semi-automatic or automatic? 
They're the same thing. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Facts matter, huh? Which mass shooting was an assault rifle used in, Mr. Veteran Gun Reporter? Good luck finding stats on mass shootings involving automatic rifles because it becomes quite clear that they're purposely muddying the waters with phrases like assault weapons and assault rifles to make people think that scary looking black military style rifles are machine guns. And there simply hasn't been any modern so-called mass shootings that used automatic weapons. She's He's right though, Mother Jones has covered guns all this time, but they've done so inaccurately to a majority of people who don't own guns and don't know anything about them. Because of this, they don't understand the laws and what the impact or lack thereof would be. But a central view on guns is that most people do not own a gun. Most people overwhelmingly want universal background checks, want red flag laws, want to raise the age at a minimum for purchase of an assault weapon, and a majority of people want to ban assault weapons. So, you know, I think this, this, this sort of shield of expertise that always comes up, oh, if you don't know that an AR doesn't stand for assault rifle, then you have no business talking about guns. Uh, but, you know, of course, I'm not talking about you needing an expert level uh, of uh, education to comment on firearms. I think what we have an issue in, in our industry is that we don't very, very rarely have even a base level, even an understanding of the difference between semi-automatic and automatic, and these things matter significantly when you're trying to discuss policy uh, responses to this and trying to explain to the audience what they would actually do and, and what the impact would really be. Exactly right, and I think the truth is they intentionally remain ignorant because it helps them to mislead and deceive people into eventually accepting a ban on all guns. That's exactly why they use vague misleading terms like assault weapon because that can be applied to any gun. They use a term like semi-automatic and most of the people listening here machine gun. Guess what? Most guns are semi-automatic. So the intention here is clear. All right, that's another one in the can. I hope everybody enjoys their day with friends or family and takes a moment to realize that we have all of this thanks to people who sacrifice their lives for people that they never know. I hope you all enjoyed this one. Karate chop that like button and share this video. Not only does it help the channel, but it spreads the truth. Remember to leave a comment and let us all know what you think. Thanks a lot.